I've been a teacher for over 10 years and I see bullying every single day with no real solution out there, no good solution out there. So with Chris in the classroom, we operate on resilience education, which just means it's teaching kids to be strong. Y'all know what the note is. Some of y'all have received it. Some of y'all have probably written it. The note's the one that's the, I like you, do you like me, check yes or no. Some of y'all are like, oh, I got that the other day. Oh. Some of y'all are like, oh, I wrote that the other day. Oh. The funniest part about tonight, I would say, is whenever Chris just did the hand thing and he would play the bully and then he would play somebody else who wasn't the bully. And every time that you listen to the bully and you talk to him, the bully would gradually get over you and just talk down on top of you. You see, a mean person might say to you, I hate your guts. Apparently my mean person's Cookie Monster. <laughs> I hate your guts. And you fire right back, you're like, shut up! Well now guess what, they have control over you. They have the power to pull that reaction out of you. Never! And then whenever you didn't listen to him and you, were, you treated them with kindness, the bully just kind of got smaller and it really, it didn't really matter to you. You smell like body odor, you're nasty! <laughs> Thanks for the information. <laughs> Our mission is what I like to call edutainment. Entertainment with education. We teach them these principles, but we also have them rolling laughing, splitting at the seams laughing too, with personal testimonies and also just real life examples of how to implement these strategies. The number one takeaway I would say for him is he actually ties in education with this. So he sits there and ties in stuff that happened in the 1800s with African Americans and slavery. He ties in Abraham Lincoln. He ties in stuff with his grandparents and the stuff that's gone out through time. Abraham Lincoln put it this way. He said, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? As an English teacher, we can go back and break down his speech and talk about how bullying's impacted Americans throughout the years. The purpose of education is to prepare kids for the real world. And if we're not doing that, if we're not teaching this, then we're doing them a disservice. They're gonna come out as those emotional marshmallows, as one of my partners likes to say. Do you think people are mean to you because of something about you? Maybe maybe you're tall or short or skinny or a little bit overweight or you have glasses or braces or allergies and you think that's why people are mean to you. It's not, it's a lie. That's not why people are mean to you. That's just the fuel, that's the ammo that they use to accomplish their one goal. Their one goal, which is to just have that power over you to control your, your reaction, to pull it out of you. But you can be resilient. Everybody say resilient. Resilient. Oh, come on, everybody say resilient. Resilient. Despite like what most people think and like teach you about bullying, he really taught us that you, know, you have the power of controlling how you take everything. So don't get upset. Treat everyone the way you want to be treated, like a friend. Funny. That's the international sign for what? Peace. Because the peace sign will always be around. And those two single items, even if you remember half of those, you solve many of the issues that you can have as both a preteen and a teenager, and really as you go through the stages of your adult life. As we expand this mission all over the country, we look forward to working with educators everywhere who really want to prepare their kids to take on the world.